Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Zaya from Carnuba Detailing, and I hope you guys all had a wonderful New Year's. Now, in today's video, I'm going to go over the process and how I deep clean all my pads, whether I utilize them for paint correction or headlight restoration or even um, polishing out exhaust tips and aluminum and things like that. We're going to be cleaning out everything from 3-inch to 6-inch to 5-inch foam pads and microfiber pads. So you're going, to get a, you're going to get a good idea of exactly the process I go through to make my pads last longer for me and still provide me amazing results when I'm actually utilizing them on the job. Now the only thing you need is some running warm to hot water. Make sure it's not too hot. If it hurts your hand it's going to hurt your pad as well. All right, So keep that in mind. After that just run your pad underneath the water, get it wet, and then use your thumb and your pointer finger in order to go ahead and squeeze out any excess polish, compound, clear coat, residue, whatever you got in there to squeeze it out with your thumb and your pointer finger. I find this the most efficient way to clean out the pad without damage it in any way as well. After that, go ahead and fold and squeeze out the excess, excess water. Do not wring out the pad. Just fold and squeeze. If you do wring out the pad like you wring out a towel, you're going to weaken the adhesive on the back and tear it off and things like that, which we don't want to do. Now as you go through your cleaning process, you'll notice that some pads might be a little bit more difficult to clean out compared to others or vice versa. Now just remember because some pads are more dense than others, that is why it's more difficult to clean out. But generally speaking, just go through this process I'm showing you right now and you'll pr be pretty much set to go when it comes to cleaning out your foam, foam pads, whatever pad type it is. Now moving on to your microfiber pads, you'll notice that you get a lot more compound and residue on on the outside edge of the pad. So what I do, I go ahead and kind of agitate it with my fingers and do that same thumb and pointer finger process that I showed you with the foam pads. The biggest different hit difference in this pad is that you kind of got to agitate the actual microfiber fibers in order to go ahead and clean them out a lot easier. But after that guys, same thing, go ahead and fold, squeeze out excess water just once or twice, and then go ahead and put it to the side. Now moving on to the 3 inch pads, this specific one I use for headlight restoration, actually the same vehicle that I showcased in my previous video which was a Nissan 350Z, so if you're interested in watching that video I'll put that in the link in the description. Now. It is a white pad, but as you can see, the top of the pad has been yellowed, and that's just the oxidation from the headlights that has stained the actual pad. After cleaning it out, it doesn't mean that the pad is still dirty. It just means that the pad has been stained, so it's not really a big deal. You can go ahead and use it again for future headlight restorations. I usually um, keep pads that I used on plastic or headlights or glass and utilize them just for that purpose only. I don't cross contaminate or anything like that. That's just me. But you are perfectly fine to use it on paint again if you'd like. I just like to organize my th my pads and my microfiber towels in that kind of manner. Now the rest of the pads for my three inch are all used on the paint. So I go ahead and wring them out the same way as I do my six inch pads um, that I showed you previously. Now moving on to my polishing cone, this is the tool that I utilize to go ahead and polish out aluminum or exhaust tips and chrome and things like that. Now all of that black stuff you see there is excess carbon deposits from the exhaust tip. Now the thing about carbon is that it does stain pads very heavily so you're not going to get this thing 100% cleaned out and what I mean by that you're not going to be able to remove 100% of the stains but you are going to be able to dramatically reduce it um, just utilizing warm to hot water. Now something that you can do and what I will do throughout this video is I just use some light um, laundry detergent, the same one that I utilize to wash my microfiber towels. It is fragrance and also um, color free. So you can utilize this on your pads, but generally speaking, I don't use it unless the pad really needs it. Um, so I'm talking about like heavy, heavy stains or anything like that. But even at that point, guys, um, if you're using it on your paint, I'd rather just use a, utilize a new pad than try to clean one out with laundry detergent and things like that. So that's just me. Um, but go ahead. I spray a little bit onto the cone itself and then kind of rub it in. And then just squeeze out any excess carbon buildup and carbon stain from the pad. And then you're pretty much all set to go after cleaning that out. Now, these pads are typically the hardest to clean because they get the dirtiest because you're cleaning out aluminum and exhaust tips and chrome and things like that. Um, so you get a lot more residue from the actual carbon and things like that compared to just polished residue, which is very easy to remove as you saw on previous pads throughout this video. 
Alright guys, so after you cleaned out your pads, go ahead and rinse off your sink of any excess polish or carbon and compound. Um, you just want to make sure you do that so it doesn't build up over time and just make it a lot more difficult for you to clean off. Then go ahead and grab your freshly cleaned pads, put them next to a wall, maybe on a table, and let them just air dry overnight, and then you'll be set to go for your next detail. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a thumbs up and also to subscribe. I make videos pretty much every week on detailing and everything car related. Um, and also go ahead and check out my Instagram page. I post a lot of what I do on a daily basis there as well. Thank you for watching and have a great day.